Longevity and Alzheimer's Protection Some people seem to age like fine wine. Smoother, stronger, and somehow still jogging at 70 while you're winded just looking at stairs. Part of that secret? A tiny genetic glitch called APOE Epsilon 2. You might have heard of the apolipoprotein E gene, and it's tied to Alzheimer's risk. Most people have the Epsilon 3 version. That's the default factory mode. Some unlucky people carry Epsilon 4, basically a small genetic bug that increases your risk of getting Alzheimer's. But if you have the Epsilon 2 variant, that's the golden ticket. People with Epsilon 2 tend to live longer, age slower, and have extra protection against Alzheimer's disease, like their brain comes with a built-in antivirus program. Here's how it works. A polypoprotein E helps clean up cholesterol and sticky waste in the brain. The Epsilon 2 version just does it better, like having a super efficient janitor who doesn't take coffee breaks or holidays. Less buildup means less chance of those harmful brain plaques sticking around and killing brain cells. People with the Epsilon 2 variant might not be immortal, but their neurons are definitely getting VIP treatment. Cancer and Diabetes Resistance Meet one of biology's strangest paradoxes, a genetic condition that sounds bad on paper but secretly makes people nearly bulletproof against cancer and diabetes. It's called Larin syndrome. People with this rare condition have a mutation that blocks their body from responding to growth hormone, the stuff that tells your cells to grow faster and divide more. Without that signal, people end up on the shorter side, like four to four and a half feet on average, but their cells stay out of trouble. They don't go into overdrive or make risky copy errors. It's like having a boss who never yells, work harder, and just lets everyone in the office stay calm and efficient. Studies of people with Larin syndrome show they almost never develop diabetes or cancer. Their low levels of IGF-1, a hormone linked to cell growth, seem to keep dangerous mutations and runaway blood sugar in check. Never developing diabetes or cancer is some amazing biology, but is it really worth the trade-off of being short? That's for you to decide. Immunity to HIV AIDS. There's a rare mutation that basically gives your immune system a VIP bouncer. One so strict, even HIV can't get past the velvet rope. It's called CCR5 Delta 32. Normally, the CCR5 gene makes a protein that sits on the surface of immune cells, acting like a doorway for certain viruses, including HIV. But if you've got the Delta 32 mutation, that doorway is bricked up. The virus knocks but there's literally no door to open. It's like showing up to the train station to Hogwarts and not getting let through. People with two copies of this mutation, one from each parent, are basically resistant to HIV infections. Even those with just one copy tend to get infected less easily and progress much slower if they do. Scientists have even used this mutation as inspiration for experimental gene therapies, trying to copy-paste the protection into others. It's one of nature's rare cheat codes, no cape, no serum, just genetics saying, access denied. Pain immunity. You stub your toe on the coffee table. Instant sharp pain and expletives start flowing. But what if that pain never showed up? Not dull, not delayed, like it never even happened. That's reality for people with congenital insensitivity to pain. Their nerves can feel texture, temperature, and touch perfectly. But pain is turned off. This is all thanks to a small glitch in the SCN9A gene. Normally, this gene helps nerve cells send those pain signals to the brain, but in people with CIP, that wire's cut. The signal never makes it through. No pain, no problem, right? Not exactly. Pain isn't just an inconvenience, it's a built-in safety feature. Without it, people can break bones, burn skin, or bite through their tongue and never notice. It's not a life of invincibility. It's more like unplugging the fire alarm at home. You won't know something's wrong until it's way too late. Super speed. Ever wonder why some people sprint like the roadrunner while the rest of us are so far behind, like Wile E. Coyote? The secret might be hiding in a single gene, ACTN3. This gene makes a protein called alpha-actinin-3, found mostly in fast-twitch muscle fibers, the kind of muscles built for explosive movement. Think sprinting, jumping, or suddenly bursting through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. People who produce the most ACTN3 protein are like high-performance sports cars, built for speed, quick bursts, and explosiveness, but not meant for endurance. Meanwhile, folks who produce less of the ACTN3 protein shift their muscle fibers for better endurance. It's like trading your Ferrari for a hybrid. 
you won't win the drag race, but you'll outlast everyone on the highway. That's why elite sprinters often produce much more of this protein compared to ultramarathon champs. Evolution basically gave humanity two builds, speed mode and endurance edition. Night vision. Picture stepping out under a bright summer sun and instantly squinting like a vampire at a beach party. That's everyday life for people with achromatopsia, a rare condition where their eyes can't see color. But here's the twist. In the dark, they practically level up to night vision mode. Achromatopsia happens when the cone cells in the retina, the special eye cells that sense color, don't work properly. So their world is more 50 shades of gray. No, not that one. But the rod cells, which handle low light, become the main characters. Their eyes are basically tuned for darkness, like switching your phone to dark mode permanently. While most of us stumble around at night like NPCs in a horror game, people with achromatopsia can spot shapes and details others can't. Evolution gave them fewer colors, but sharper shadows. It's not exactly superhero level vision, but it's definitely night vision goggles energy. Between night vision and color vision, which would you choose? Malaria resistance. You know how in movies or video games, some characters have a built-in resistance to poison? Well, evolution did the same thing with the sickle cell trait. It's nature's way of giving some people armor against one of history's deadliest enemies, malaria. Here's the twist. The beta-globin gene, which is responsible for sickle cell disease, changes the shape of red blood cells, the tiny discs that carry oxygen. If you inherit one mutated copy of the gene, your cells bend slightly into a crescent shape. They still deliver oxygen just fine, but malaria parasites hate that shape. It's like trying to fit into a sleeping bag that's the wrong size. They can't survive inside. In parts of Africa, where malaria hits hardest, this trait became a survival cheat code. People with one copy of the gene are much less likely to die from malaria. But if both copies of the gene are mutated, that's when it becomes sickle cell disease, which can be serious. It's a wild evolutionary trade-off, a gene that's both shield and sword, protect you from one thing, harm you in another. No fingerprints. Imagine going through airport security and the fingerprint scanner just doesn't work. Not because it's broken, but because you don't have fingerprints. That's adermatoglyphia also known as the immigration delay disease, because border agents really don't love when you're invisible to them. This rare genetic condition is caused by a mutation in a gene called SMARCAD1, which plays a role in how your skin forms those signature ridges. Without it, your fingertips are smooth as glass. No whorls, no loops, nothing. It's like nature forgot to press print on the final layer. What's wild is that it doesn't really cause any health issues. You can still grip things, feel textures, and live totally normal. You just happen to leave zero evidence behind, making you the perfect criminal mastermind. Adermetoglyphia is proof that even the tiniest change in DNA can erase one of the most human identifiers, literally wiping away the you from your fingertips. Would you rather get stuck in airport security every trip, or leave your greasy fingerprints on everything? Superhuman wakefulness. Ever met someone who cheerfully says, oh, I only need four hours of sleep, and somehow they're actually fine? While they're probably lying, those people might have a DEC2 mutation, the closest thing humans have to a built-in energy cheat code. Normally, your body's DEC2 gene helps regulate how long you need to recharge each night, but in a lucky few, a rare variant tweaks that system, letting them function perfectly on way less sleep. It's like their brain keeps going like the Energizer Bunny, while the rest of us have brains that need new batteries. These short sleepers don't just get by. Studies show they wake up alert, focused, and full of energy, without any of the grumpiness or brain fog the rest of us battle after pulling an all-nighter. Basically, they're living proof that evolution occasionally speedruns sleep. Sure, they may never relate to just five more minutes like the rest of us, but we'll hit snooze in their honor. Enhanced Memory and Creativity Ever met someone who says things like, Mondays are red, or the number four tastes like mint? They might be hallucinating. Or they might actually have synesthesia, a brain quirk where the senses sync up in unexpected ways. In synesthesia, signals in the brain's sensory regions cross wires. When most people hear music, they just hear it. But a synesthete might see it too, glowing colors dancing with every note. It's like their brain accidentally left all the sensory tabs open at once, and now sound, sight, and touch are chatting in one big group text. This crossover doesn't just make life more vivid, it boosts memory and creativity too. Imagine remembering someone's name, 
because it feels like a nice breeze, or composing music that looks like a full moon. Many artists, writers, and musicians throughout history have had it, from Kandinsky to Pharrell Williams. Synesthesia turns perception into art, proof that a little chaos in the wiring can make the mind brilliantly multicolored. Fearlessness. Imagine walking through a haunted house and feeling nothing. No heart pounding, no sweaty palms, no urge to scream, just calm curiosity while everyone else is sprinting for the exit. That's what life can be like for people with urbach the disease, a rare condition that can make someone nearly fearless. This happens when the amygdala, the brain's fear control center, is damaged or underdeveloped. Normally, it's your internal alarm system, the one that yells, run, when you see a spider or hear footsteps in the dark. But in people with this condition, that alarm is permanently muted. It's like having your emotional smoke detector unplugged. Peaceful, but maybe not ideal in a real fire. One famous case, known as Patient S.M., could come face to face with snakes and watch horror movies without a single flinch. Her brain literally can't process fear the way most people do. It's fascinating and terrifying all at once. Fear helps keep us alive, but losing it reveals just how deeply it shapes what being human feels like. Enhanced Color Vision Most of us see the world through a standard three-color lens. Red, green, and blue. But some people? They're rocking quadruple vision. Not in the I ate some wild mushrooms way. In the tetrachromacy way. People with tetrachromacy have an extra type of cone cell in their eyes, giving them four color receptors instead of three. While the average person can distinguish about a million shades, tetrachromats can see up to a hundred million. To them, your beige couch is actually a complex tapestry of warm topes, faint ambers, and silent judgment for calling it beige. This usually happens in women who inherit slightly different versions of the gene that makes those color-detecting cones. Their brains can combine the signals to reveal subtle hues invisible to most of us. So while the rest of us argue over whether a dress is blue and black or white and gold, tetrachromats are out there seeing a whole other universe of colors and quietly laughing at our peasant vision. Superhuman muscle growth. You know that person who looks like they were born a Greek god? They might actually have a real-life genetic power-up called myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy, nature's version of never skipping leg day, arm day, or any day at the gym. Normally, a protein called myostatin acts like your body's muscle traffic signal. It tells your muscles to slow down and not grow too big. But when the MSTN gene that makes myostatin mutates, that signal gets lost. The muscles just keep growing and building. It's like removing the traffic light and any speed limits for your muscles. People with this mutation can have twice the normal muscle mass, even without lifting. Their muscles are denser, stronger, and more defined, often from childhood. And no, it's not dangerous. Their bodies just skip the limiter everyone else has. Scientists are studying this gene for potential muscle-wasting treatments. But for now, it's the closest thing humans have to a real-life Hercules mode. No gym membership required. Super Taster. We all have that one friend who sips coffee or wine and says they can taste all these different subtle flavors. They're probably just trying to sound fancy, but they might be genetically upgraded. Meet the Super Tasters, people whose tongues are basically in high definition. Super Tasters have way more taste buds than average, up to twice as many. These extra sensors mean every flavor hits harder. Bitter foods? Way more bitter. Sweet treats? Almost overwhelming. It's like your taste buds are running the volume at max, while everyone else is still at medium. The reason comes down to a gene called TAS2R38, which affects how you detect different compounds. If you've got the super taster version, even mild foods can taste intense. That's why many super tasters avoid coffee, dark chocolate, or strong veggies. Not because they're picky, but because their mouth is throwing a full-blown flavor concert. It's both a blessing and a curse, gourmet-level perception, but constant sensory chaos. If you liked this video and want to learn more fun facts about the human body, check out these other videos.